morning. It's uh, it's time for art. First day of our um, lockdown, so to speak, and uh, I've moved everything into our little guest studio. And so, thank you for joining me here. I'm no longer in my studio, but um, yeah, we'll see what comes of this time. Thank you so much for yesterday's response, all of you that uh, that um, watched. I was uh, I was so encouraged, and I'm going to. Um, I'm going to be doing this for the next 20 days, 20, yeah, after this, 20 days, God willing, it might be longer, but um, I just wanted to take these, uh, this time to, um, to look at different works each day and kind of what the inspiration has been behind them. Uh, the first uh, work was yesterday's one, which was um, Conversations at Sea, when you just have that overwhelming sense of, of, uh, things not going the way you want, having expectations and them not being met. And I think we're in for a lot of that. And then I think the encouragement from that was that ultimately we are mortal and finite. Uh, our souls are obviously infinite, but God is sovereign and almighty and is beyond all time. And so I just wanted to take today's, um, today's work, which I've called the Prodigal Society. Um, I'm going to hold it up for you and I'll post a higher res pick online just now. But essentially, um, uh, let me just get the anger right. There you go. It's, uh, the, and these are all mini prints. The originals are all sold. So these are just part of my creative collectible collection. Uh, but what you see here is, um, is a painting I did back in Italy when I was still studying in Florence. Um, I mean, it's ironic that they're the ones that are suffering the most at the moment, and I'll praise God to them. But I painted this because obviously I love Vespers, and uh, I was reminded of that um, the fact that everything that is seen is temporary, but everything that is unseen is eternal. So things like kindness, love, um, uh, patience, those sort of things last forever. But things that are temporary, cars, vespers, bricks, mortar, our bodies even, they all pass away, but, but our spirit, which is eternal, lives on. And so if you look in the background over there, you'll see um, a, a father um, with his hands on a kneeling son. And so I call this the prodigal society because it was actually... As I was walking around Florence and there was so much appreciation for things that are beautiful and I mean I love the Italian sense of fashion and taste and uh, but people seem to be focusing on all that they can see as if reality was stuck in in what we can touch and physically um, see in that but there's much more to reality than that we all know that we are by we are body mind uh, and soul in terms of there's this deeper spiritual side and so i think this season is taking us to this kind of moment where we as a society are a bit prodigal and uh, the story of the prodigal son is that he takes all his inheritance and runs away and goes and spends it on wild living uh, only to end up eating essentially pig's food and saying you know i can at least go back to my father and he'll give me a job, even though I don't have to be his son anymore, because I've essentially disinherited by taking my inheritance. But I can go back to him, and at least I will be—I will do be better off like his servants are than what I am now. And so he returns, and I feel like the world is returning to the Father. The world is returning, is recognizing uh, that we have spent our desires, our appetites, on things that are temporary, on transient. And, uh, and so this is the prodigal son kneeling in front of the father over there is based on Rembrandt's prodigal son. And I'll post a picture of that um, shortly too. But essentially, I painted this because the, the background, you can't really see the father. You can't really see the son returning. But if you look closely in the original and if you look in the prints, you'll see very clearly the image of the son returning to the father. And it was almost like when we look past the distractions of material world of the things that we so caught up in behind all of that is the heart of a father of God who longs for all men to come into that embrace who actually kills the fattened calf when we return who celebrates enormously for every soul that returns to him that is reunited with him and so although I've called this the prodigal society and I painted it in she's probably 2006 or 7 maybe even earlier, 
um, I think it's really appropriate for today. So, uh, yeah, just be reminded that behind all that we can see is the heart of a father that loves you, you individually, and, uh, and that he's got amazing plans for us, even in the midst of these very uncertain days. But you can trust him. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a look at the posts I put up in relationship to this. They're very interesting. There's a painting, obviously, the famous one by Rembrandt of the prodigal uh, son. And then there's, um, there's another painting of Ivan the Terrible with his son. And uh, I just want you to have a look at the contrast uh, of the way the two fathers respond. So I'm going to put those up. Have a look-see. And again, just appreciate your comments and uh, having a look-see. Also, what I'm going to be doing is um, uh, I'm going to be painting one painting a day. So I will post that. Today is my first day at home painting. So it might be children, dogs, food, who knows what it's going to be. But I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be producing work here um, from home. And so you're welcome to come and uh, critique that as you like. Cool. Have a good day.